Apple M4 chips and new Macs. Apple leaked to uh, Bloomberg uh, that you they were. Apple didn't leak, dude. Remember when that wasn't a thing? It feels like they all everything leaks now. Well, the only time Apple goes early on anything is is when they know that they have heavy duty competition or something like that. Um, and I think investors needed some positive news after um, you know they're getting dumped on for uh, China getting out of uh, automotive and kind of the lukewarm response to a pretty good product, which is uh, Vision Pro. So, uh, yeah, again, uh, congrats to uh, Bloomberg on this. So um, it, I'm going to put this in perspective. So last year, uh, I talked about a PC super cycle that would start in mid-2024, led by on-device capabilities from Qualcomm, Intel, and, and AMD. And Qualcomm led the way with their Snapdragon Elite X announcement last year with giant on-chip AI and ARM-based custom CPU architecture that showed, and, and they're still showing benchmarks, better performance per watt than Apple's uh, uh, M3. And then Intel right, announced um, at CES in January, Meteor Lake, that had, I think, uh, around 10 tops uh, in there. And an improved distributed architecture. Uh, at the event last week, like we talked in our earlier segment, Intel did what I consider a pull-in of Lunar Lake, right? It has, I don't know, 6X, the NPU capability is 100 tops, and it would be available for the holiday selling season. And obviously, AMD is in the game too, and I don't want to leave them out. They were technically first with an on-chip TPU, but that, I don't think that has uh, uh, got that much because of uh, the software enablement uh, is is weak. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got to give Apple credit. Apple was running the tables from a performance per watt and a battery life. Uh, now, it lacked desktop overall performance and because it, it couldn't connect with NVIDIA, but they were really focused on uh, PPW. So, Qualcomm, Intel, AMD are challenging. Uh, Apple's notebook supremacy. So uh, what do I expect from these chips? I, I expect a big NPU baby and potentially some improvements in the way it scales uh, it, its architecture. Uh, what well, we've seen some interesting thing with electron microscopes on how M3 architecture changed. I am not expecting a radical IPC improvement. There, I, I, I don't think that that's what we are, are going to uh, see. And then on the desktop side, uh, I think Dell, HP, and Lenovo have an advantage with NVIDIA AI that um, and all the RAG capabilities that NVIDIA has put into their latest and greatest. On the plus side, uh, again, I think Apple's entry into the AI PC market will accelerate the category. And overall, this is a good thing, right? They're completely vertically integrated, which uh, which is interesting. And I I I'm interested to see how Microsoft Surface and it's integrated with its new operating system, AI enabled with the applications and new chips first out with Qualcomm, Intel, and AMD are going to mean. But the great part is Apple jumping in gives credibility to AI PCs. Yeah, listen, um, this is all rumor right now, but it's not, right? This is like, it's rumor, but it's not rumor. Like, right. yeah, and Apple One doesn't have its same capabilities to secrecy as it once did, but this isn't an accidental leak anyway. This is a, hey, we need everybody to know we're not basically doing nothing here. Now, again, there was a lot of prognostication that Worldwide Developer Conference would be a moment and you would be hearing about what we're hearing about, but I think waiting multiple weeks, months to get this out in the world we live in is too long. Now, Apple's clearly responsive, and and Intel was the clear driver. Yeah, Apple, that, in, to, to to its credit, I mean, Intel is putting the fear of markets into Apple, <laughs> and the fact is, is that Apple, uh, you know, they haven't been on the front end of anything for a long time. I mean, let's be very, very clear. They're late with VR and AR. This isn't new. They're 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 out with something cooler, but it's much later. And that's kind of become their bit of their MO is they're kind of a laggard in a lot of things, but then they do it a little bit better, a little bit more uh, 
friendly experience wise. And that's been their thing for a long time now. It's not Steve Jobs is Apple anymore. Let's just be very clear about that. But Apple's also suffering, Pat. Like, let's be really candid. They're getting crushed in China right now. Their iPhones are down by mid double digit percent sales. They're moving sales in, uh, in, in, in manufacturing to India, which I think China is somewhat punishing them for amongst also trying to punish any US based company in general for what we're doing from a chip control standpoint. And they're getting more nationalistic. That hurts a company like Apple that has a huge market there. Now, again, this isn't about phones. This is about Macs. But Pat, um, their sales dropped 27% for Mac in the last year. So um, that's not good. That's a big fall off. So now you've got phones falling in their biggest market. You've got Macs falling off. And then they didn't have anything innovative to offer. So of course, they're going to come out and say, hold on, everybody. We're not going to go without a response here. We're going to come up with something and it's going to be good. Now, I did some evaluation of the Realm or Realm models that they're doing, Pat. And the stuff that uh, Apple is doing with uh, Gen AI on device is actually somewhat interesting. If, if you look at the stats versus, I believe it was some of Mistral and they did it against GPT 3.5 Turbo, I believe. And again, I'm doing this from memory. Um, Apple was able to show some pretty high um, performance on models with sub billion uh, parameters, some as low as like 250 million, getting very, very good performance. This is going to be related to future versions of Siri and generative capabilities on device, but Apple needs an answer for on-device AI. This is gonna be the answer. Will it drive, go ahead. I, I can see you trying to get something in. Let, let me take a breath. No, no, I thought you were done. No, I'm never done. I just talk forever. I just keep going. It's, it's Pat's like, yeah, I know. It's, Jesus, this is terrible. Um, you know what, let's just move on. I'm done with this. You sure? Yeah, 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 I said my piece. I said my piece. Apple, you got work to do. Yeah, credit to Apple for stirring up PPW and resetting what you could do. It woke the entire industry up, and they're- and By the way, it's more TV we can do. It's more stuff for us to tweet about. Exactly. 